Good afternoon and welcome to today's full moon meditation with the full moon in Aries. I don't have an awful lot to say this morning, um, actually, afternoon rather. It, uh, energetically, you know, I feel like we're still kind of riding the equinox, which did bring in a really lovely um, shift in the energies, which I am definitely still feeling. Uh, there is, if we go back to kind of some of the message that was coming at the time of the equinox, we're looking at the the harvest and looking at all of the um, the lead up to potentially a culmination of things that you've been kind of trying to move, things that you've had in place, uh, a time to reassess, you know, where was it success successful, where did it not succeed, uh, what can we do moving forward? And this full moon in Aries, I think the challenge here is, you know, we all understand that kind of the Aries is the the leader and the Aries is the one that they just, you know, let's make it happen. Let's go, let's do it. And that's all very true. Uh, that is one of its most positive attributes, but it's also uh, equally one of its most negative. <laughs> and so sometimes the greatest lesson in Aries is to learn some patience. And we're all about, uh, you know, taking the challenge of the lesson and hopefully integrating that in our lives as seekers. So right now, that's what I'm experiencing. I'm, I'm looking at this as I think there are many of us who are feeling some sense of progress coming out of the summer and into the fall. Uh, summer being slow, but I think we've watched that there has been a little bit of a buildup and that's encouraging and wonderful. And it can leave us feeling very uh, anxious to get things going faster, better, uh, to be more productive, um, to have something succeed greater than it has. And those are fine. There's nothing wrong with that. We just have to remember to temper it with patience. Because just because we feel the, um, the pull or feel the impetus like within us for more change or more movement, it doesn't necessarily mean the timing is just right. And so that's part of our experience here is to learn great discernment concerning um, just watching the timing of things and not being too uh, eager to just jump in before we've looked where we're headed. Um, and that's, that's what I'm getting today pretty strongly. So however that translates for you in your life, take that and uh, use it to your advantage today. Patience is a beautiful thing. It's also a good time just to be appreciative of, um, and I think that's a good message too. I don't even think I spoke that about the equinox, just, being appreciative for what you've got, being appreciative, even if it's just, you know, you made it through the summer <laughs> because the summer was really uh, interesting, very challenging for many, many people. So let's take today's meditation and we'll sit in some gratitude with it and enjoy that energy. <laughs> <laughs> 